what we are obliged to do. If there is one thing someone learns in life, it is that no matter how wise your advice may be on the proper ordering of society, nobody is going to listen to you, nor should they. We can smirk when in St. Paul's letter to Titus, chapter 2, verses 1 through 8, and verses 11 through 14, with its grumpy old men and tipsy little old ladies. But this laundry list of bad behaviors deprecates real life, real problems. In fact, it's more complicated than that. One can only imagine Paul reading a letter he's gotten from some righteous person in Corinth or Creek where Titus was, complaining about their neighbors and looking for or maybe even suggesting a categorical list of do's and don'ts. But Paul's ultimate response, reject godless ways and worldly desires and live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age. Easier said than done. It's harder to live up to high aspirations than to check off a list. And if that's not hard enough, Consider what Jesus demands in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 7 to 10. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. How do you achieve that? Well, that's also complicated. It depends on each individual circumstance. Serving others requires care and judgment, and indeed, wisdom that is sometimes beyond us. At times, we're going to get it wrong, but why we do it isn't complicated at all. Those who love, we love to serve. For more stories, please visit our website, www.pamphletstoinspire.com.